Listen to the story told by the reed of being separated. Since I was cut from the reed bed, I have made this crying sound. Anyone apart from someone he loves understands what I say. Anyone pulled from a source longs to go back. All is the beloved, and the lover is a veil. The beloved is alive, and the lover is dead. From Rumi's Matnavi. Sufis have no country, and they do not live in any single geographic region. They exist throughout the Islamic world as both Shia and Sunni. Sufis represent the spiritual or mystical dimension of Islam. Sufism is known as the way of the heart, the way of the pure. It is the path that takes the seeker to the Divine Presence. The first historical traces of Sufism go back to the time of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He was a profound mystic, and it is said that he taught his son-in-law, Hazrat Ali, the techniques and inner truths of this mysticism. Thus, almost all Sufi schools represent Prophet Muhammad and Hazrat Ali as a door to spiritualism. The earliest known Sufis were solitary mystics who attracted followers on the strength of their personal piety. These illumined beings taught their students the techniques they had used to become friends of God. Those students who attained spiritual realization in turn taught others. By the 9th century, what had originally been informal teacher-student relationships formalized with the founding of tariqas, or orders, each originating from a different Sufi saint. Unity is a core principle of Islam which refers to the monotheistic oneness of God, or the intimate relationship between God and creation at all levels. However, for the Sufi, unity, or Tawheed in Arabic, is a fundamental mystical experience of reality. This means we arise from God and return to God, and this truth can be experienced and known. Therefore, Sufis search for their inner soul to communicate with the Divine. As Rumi says, A soul which is not clothed with the inner garment of love should be ashamed of its existence. Be drunk with love, for love is all that exists. Where is intimacy found if not in the give and take of love? If they ask what love is, say, the sacrifice of will. If you have not left your will behind, you have no will at all. Sufis often use music as a source to connect with God. Although musical expression in Islam is often seen as debatable, Sufi musical performances have played an important role in creative literature and poetry, as well as in spreading the message of Islam throughout the world. Sufi practices including chanting, singing, dance, and meditation, are all intended to lead followers toward the experience of annihilation or fana of the ego in God. Sufism teaches that the ideal state of realization is in subsistence, or baka, wherein the mystic is conscious of both this unity and of his own individual identity. The Sufi's quest is to experience God within oneself, this is often called marifa. What is most essential to Sufism cannot be learned, but can only be reached by personal experience and inward transformation. Ibn Arabi says, When my beloved appears, with what eye do I see him? With his eye, not with mine. For none sees him except himself. My heart is capable of every form. A cloister for the monk, a temple for idols, a pasture for gazelles, the votaries Kaaba, the tables of the Torah, the Quran. Love is the creed I hold. Wherever turn his camel, love is still my creed and faith.
This famous saying about music in the Indian subcontinent says that music is the feast of the soul. It depends on each person's inner feelings how the power of music is experienced. According to Sufi Ruzbihan Bakli, a poet, musician, and commentator of the Quran, Spiritual music is the key to the treasury of the divine verities. The Gnostics are divided. Some listen with the help of the stations, Makamat. Some with the help of the states, Halat. Some with the help of spiritual unveiling, Mukashifat. Some with the help of vision, Mushahidat. When they listen according to the stations, they are in reproach. When they listen according to spiritual unveiling, they are in union, Wisal. When they listen according to vision, they are immersed in the divine beauty.